Graftols was originally developed for the interactive image show at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago as another way to visually and interactively explore mathematical concepts. It's now at the Computer Museum in Boston on permanent loan. Graftols is an introduction to the idea of creating complex images from simple mathematical rules. It allows you to learn about them by controlling various aspects through the use of buttons and a joystick. Before we show you the game, however, let's cover a bit of Graftal history. Graftals are based on an area of mathematics. Aristide Lindenmeyer, a biologist, adapted this branch of mathematics, which uses a simple set of rules, called a grammar, to create complex forms. Lindenmeyer's work became known as L-systems. L-systems produce results which resemble the patterns of plant growth and are used in biology to describe and predict how plants grow. Computer imagery can be used to imitate nature. Using the proper grammar, the growth of a simulated plant can be illustrated from a single cell to a complex organism. Alvy Ray Smith adapted L systems for use in creating shapes on the computer. Those shapes are known as graftals. Now for the game. Written in an interactive language called RT1, graftals is designed for three levels of play, easy, intermediate, and hard. At any time during the game, the player can go to the learn section to get additional information. This allows the player the choice to either jump in and play or learn more about the concepts behind the game. You can do it in any order and at any time. Let's try the first level of play. Level 1 first asks the player to select the number of repeats. That is, how many times the rules are applied in succession. Then it asks the color of the tree and what location to place it on the screen. The program then grows the tree, or graftal, using the information the player has selected. Instead of going right to level two, let's learn a little more about the concepts behind graftals. Computers normally need a lot of information to draw complicated objects, and natural objects, like trees, are quite complex. For instance, to draw a tree, you need to know the size and angle of each branch, where they're attached, and how many branches there are. In order to create natural shapes without using a lot of memory space, a programmer can use a set of rules called grammars to describe each branch of a tree. A grammar, however, needs some basic information or facts about the tree. A group of these facts is called a string. Repeating the grammar creates new trees. Although the trees are similar each time a grammar is repeated, it changes the string and alters the shape to create the new tree. To learn more about how the grammar changes the string, let's look at number two. A graftal tree is made up of branches. Each branch has one or more parts. Those parts are described using one or two facts, shown here in blue and yellow. The graftal grammar is a set of substitution rules. Each time the grammar is repeated, each fact is replaced with one or more new facts. The changes can be starting a new branch, adding to the branch length, or ending a branch. If we use the blue and yellow parts we showed earlier and apply a grammar which has two substitution rules, the colors would be replaced as indicated by the diagram on the right. If the part is blue, replace it with a yellow. If the part is yellow, replace it with a yellow and an angled blue. If a new part falls directly on a previous one, then it is drawn at a different angle. Level 2 is played the same as Level 1, except now we can also select which grammar or set of rules to apply to our graftal. 
Here we'll select our number of repeats from 1 to 26 and use the joystick to pick the angle of the branches. There's a variety of colors to choose from. Let's select one. Now place the graftal on the screen. By experimenting with different combinations of selections, you can see their effect on the graftal itself. While using the game, you'll also notice that sometimes the computer even adds leaves to a graftal. We now know that in order to draw a graftal, we need a string which contains some basic facts about the graftal, such as the blue and yellow branch parts. And we need a set of rules, or grammar, to apply to the string. But how does the program see the string? The computer program needs symbols to name branch parts. Here we've defined our blue parts as the symbol 1, and the yellow parts as the symbol 0. These ones and zeros are what goes into the string in the computer program. Brackets are the directions for tree growth. The left bracket tells the program to begin a new branch at an angle. The right bracket is the command to end a branch. Ones and zeros used between the brackets define a branch drawn at an angle. After the right bracket ends a branch, the computer returns to the previous branch to continue the facts from the string and draw the next branch. Earlier we discussed how the grammar substitutes or replaces facts to change the description of each branch part. The program applies the grammar to the symbols 1 and 0 and the left and right brackets to change the description of the branch parts. For each symbol, the grammar has a replacement rule. If the symbol is a 1, replace it with a 0. If it's a 0, replace it with a 0 and a 1 enclosed in brackets, just like you see on the screen. The brackets are copied, but they're never changed. These replacements continue in the game until the number of repeats selected has been attained. That is, how many times the grammar is applied to the string. When you program a graftal, it's the same thing. You have to define your initial string and how many times the grammar is applied to the string. Since we now know more about how a program uses strings and grammars to create graftals, let's play level 3. Level 3 is similar to levels 1 and 2 except now you can select your own string. You can also reapply the same string to different combinations of selections to create new trees. We've selected the numbers shown below as our string. Let's now apply a grammar to that string. Once again, select the number of times to apply the grammar. and the angle of the branches, next the color, and finally place the graftal and see what our tree looks like. What you can learn from this game is that graftals use symbols as instructions for drawing. Branch color, length, angle, and thickness are defined independently from the string and grammar. Opening brackets help to make graftals look lifelike. Nesting brackets within each other and using different angles or groups of angles helps to change the growth patterns. Although the graftal game applies leaves randomly to its trees, when you program a graftal, you can use the closing brackets to add leaves to the end of your branches. Remember, all of the elements of the Graftal game can be applied to programming Graftals. It's just that the game is a lot easier and much more fun. We hope you'll visit the Computer Museum in Boston and try it for yourself.